Hi, this is Bart Polson, and this video is a walkthrough of an exercise from Zed Shaw's book, Learn Python the Hard Way. Just go to his website, learnpythonthehardway.org. That's where you can get the text. You can either read it for free uh, online, or you can purchase it for a downloadable version PDF and uh, Kindle and iPad. I, I purchased the downloaded. I strongly recommend it because you also get access, access to his videos, which are a fabulous resource. But... You can get the text for free either by clicking here or by clicking here, which will take you to the table of contents. And in this particular video, we're going to be looking at exercise nine, printing, printing, printing. And if you click on that, it'll take you to this page. And here is what we need to enter. And uh, I'm actually going to go to my copy of Text Wrangler. Uh, if you're on Windows PC, you probably have Notepad++. And let me show you the text line by line. The first thing to type is just a comment from Zed. It says, strange new stuff, type it exactly the way it is. The first thing is we're creating a, a string variable called days. And so we give it the name days, and then the equals is the assignment operator. And then we're putting in it the text uh, of the seven days of the week in their abbreviated three uh, letter format. Now, this is read not as a list, but it's read as a single uh, block of text. Next, we're going to do the months. So we create a variable called months, and we have the assignment operator, the equal sign. And then we have this interesting piece of, uh, we, we've got the three-letter versions of each of the months, but there's no spaces in between. And instead, there's a backslash N. That's this thing right here. And what you need to know is that is the Unix symbol for a new line. So it puts it onto a new paragraph. It's sort of like a carriage returner, a return. And um, that's going to make things print out on different lines, and that can be a helpful thing. Now, uh, just a quick point here. Z does not have an initial line break. I do because I think it prints out a little cleaner, so I added that. Also, just as a reminder, if you are using a string with the backslash n in it, and you call on it with the uh, percent r, you know, sort of format symbol, it's going to print out the backslash n. It's going to read it literally and not as a symbol for a new line, not as a command. That's just something to keep in mind. Okay, we're going to print out a couple of things. We're going to print out the text, here are the days. That's on that's in quotes, and we've got and then we have a comma here, and then we're going to put in days. So that's referring back to this variable, the string variable that we created. Because there's a comma, there's going to be a space after uh, between this part and the second part. And then on another line, we're going to print, here are the months. But because we have these line breaks, the Unix commands, it's going to print it on uh, 12 different lines. Also, this is going to put two spaces before the names of the day. If you don't want that, just remove that space that's right there. And then finally, we're going to get a sort of an interesting new command for print. If you want to print something that's several lines long and you want to print it as several lines, you have the option of using triple quotes. Now, they're put right next to each other. There's no space between them. And the first triple quote needs to be on the same line as the print command. That way it recognizes that there's a big long quote. And then you can put as long as you want, and then you finish it with another triple quote. Um, anyhow, that's all you need to do. So let me come over to, um, let me make sure that's saved, and come over to terminal. Now my current working directory is my scripts folder. So it's going to recognize it if I just call on this one. I'm going to type in pythons because I want to run it as a Python script. OXEX09.py. And when I hit return, here's what I get. And you see, it doesn't print when you define a variable. It waits until you have the print command. So it's saying, here are the days. And then it calls on that string variable that has that information. So that's what we have right here. And by the way, we have these two spaces in here which really bugged me from a typographic point of view. But that's because we have a space here, and we also have a comma, which inserts a space. Here are the months. That's the next thing that we're printing over here. And you see, it's a single line command, but because months has these new line Unix codes in it, it splits it up into these various lines. We actually don't go all the way through December. We just go through August. And then down here, it says there's something going on here with the three double quotes. 
Now you see an interesting thing here also is this first line is read as an empty line and that's why there's a space over here. You could put some text on here right after the triple quotes and it would, it would go right here and there'd be no break. And then the triple quote at the end is also read as an individual line, which is why there's a space right here. Anyhow, that's all there is to it. And hopefully that'll make sense as you go through exercise nine. And we'll see you for the next one.